well, let's look at an example here. So for example, probability of A is 0.8, probability of B is 0.7, probability of A given B is 0.25. We're going to go get all of these probabilities here. Okay, so first of all, let's get the probability of A and B. Well, what we have, we have the probability of A given B. Uh, so what we want to combine that with is the probability of B. Okay, or we can rewrite it in this order. I like to write it this way. Probability of B times the probability of A given B, and then kind of make sense of it if, make sense of it, if you will. Okay, so let's have a look. So let's say, sorry, forgive me, B occurs here. And then we're asking, what are the odds of A occurring given that B has already occurred? Because here it occurred, okay, it has occurred. What are the odds of A occurring if B has already occurred? Um, if that makes sense, that gives us the probability of A and B when you multiply those two probabilities together. So let's go get that. So that's 0 0.7 times by 0 0.25. Okay. And then I'll go do the calculations in a sec here. Actually, let me do this one right away. Um, 0.175. Beautiful. Uh, now probability of A or B, if you remember the formula, is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Now you might ask yourself, why do I subtract this middle area? Uh, I want to include it, right? But picture this, when we're doing the probability of A or B, which is in this picture right here, this is our or, uh, we want the probability of B, or yeah, let's say this is actually, yeah, I'm sorry, let's call this A, forgive me here, let's call this B. We want the probability of A, we add the probability of B, but notice when we add the probability of B, we end up double counting this area. So we have to subtract one of those middle areas um, to not double count that overlap. So that's why we subtract the AND here, because otherwise we would be double counting this middle area. Remember this AND is this middle area right in here, so we need to subtract it once to not double count it. Okay, so probability of A uh, is 0.8, probability of B 0.7, and I'm so sorry, one tiny typo, let's fix it right now, that should be a plus. Um, so 0 0.8 plus 0.7 minus the AND, and we just figured out the AND, it's the 0.175. Gorgeous. Okay. And let's just mark these, so that's the AND, this is the OR, and uh, let's get our complements now. So let's say if this was B right here, in here, then the odds of not B is, sorry, the odds of not B is all of this red shaded area right here. Okay. Um, and to get that, so probability of not B, which we can also write as probability of not B, is just 1 minus the odds of B, which gives us 0.3. So this right here is the probability of not B. Okay, if we want the probability of not A, then we just do, again, we can write it this way, we just do 1 minus the probability of A, so 1 minus the 0.8, which gives 0.2. Okay, uh, now next example, we're going to do one quite similar. Example number 2. Um, so let's say, um, let's say now we have probability of A is 0.5, probability of B is 0.6, uh, and probability of A and B is 0.25. Beautiful. Okay, so let's call this now, sorry about that, let's call this B, let's call this A because A is a bit smaller. Um, if we want A given B, remember our formula is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. Note, kind of think of this um, conditional line as a division line. So whatever is here, that's what I divide by. Okay, so given that B has already occurred, what are the odds of A occurring? Okay, and actually, so sorry, just to be consistent with our picture, let's switch this around. Let's make that A, let's make that B. Beautiful. What we want to do is we want to take the odds of the AND right here, this guy, and divide by the odds of B. 
This is kind of a picture of what we're doing here. Um, okay, so in our case, we do the 0.25 divided by the 0 0.60. And let's see what we get there. 0.416 repeating, or you can round that to 0 0.4167. Beautiful. Okay, now the odds of B given A. Okay, so that would be the same, the and on top, probability of A and B divided by now. See if you can think of what we divide by now. We divide by what's on the bottom, which is A. Okay, so 0.25 divided by 0 0.50, and that will give us 0 0.50. Okay, now the odds of A or B. So that's the odds of A or the odds of B. So we take the 0.50 plus the 0 0.60, the A plus the B minus the AND, and the AND is the 0.25. And that gives us, I believe, 0.85. There we go, 0.85. Okay, and finally, so this is this picture right here. Okay, and this is this picture here. Uh, and finally, not A. So if this, um, this for A. Oh, actually, let's do this, forgive me. Let's talk about not B here again, just so that our picture matches up. Good, okay, so not B. If this were B inside this circle, then not B would be everything else outside of B. So same as before, just do one minus the probability of B, and that becomes 0 0.60.